What's up everyone? Welcome to another video from MEA Bros. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create some sand and some pyramids in Blender. Basically Egypt. But um, this is not going to be a real technical tutorial. It's going to be really fast and simple and easy. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay everyone, before we begin, make sure you guys have this version of Blender. Okay, I'm just going to add my screencast key so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is delete the cube from the viewport by clicking X, then delete. Then we're going to hit Shift A, we're going to go to Mesh, and then we're going to go to Cone. Once you added your cone, you're going to go down here to Add Cone, go to Vertices, and we're going to set the vertices to 4. We're going to go down here to Rotation, set the rotation to 45. After you're done with this, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to affect the scale of this. So we're going to hit, first we need to grab it, so we're going to hit G, then Z. Then grab it on that axis. Then we're gonna hit S, then Z, then scale it on that axis. So we're gonna scale it to something around here. Then we need to what we need to do here is um scale it upwards. So this by clicking X, S, S, then we're gonna scale it outwards. So that's basically it. That's your pyramid here. We're done with the pyramid. Now we need to what we need to do is go into shading. Then we're gonna hit new. And the material texture is going to be in the description down below. That's the one that we're going to be using. You guys can find it at Materials Haven. Okay, we're going to load in our uh, our images, you know, that we got. We don't really need this one. We just need to, you know, the default base color. Then we need the normals and the roughness. I know it's better ways to do this, but once you guys added all three of your, your things, what we're going to do is from here... We're going to set the select the, the default and we're going to click connect the color to the color. Then we're going to go down to the roughness. So we're going to connect the roughness into the roughness. Then the last one is going to be the normal. But with the normal, we need to do a little bit of work with it. So I'll show you what we need to do. So we need to we need to uh, add a few things before we connect it. So we're going to hit shift A, go to search. We're going to search normal. I'm gonna search normal, then go to normal, normal map. Connect the color into the normal map color. Then we're gonna hit Shift A, go to search, and we're gonna search bump. Go to the bump. We're gonna put the bump down here. Then we're gonna connect the normal into the into the normal, and this normal to this normal, right here. Okay. Okay, once you guys are done with this, what we, didn't, what we need to do from here is, wait, let me, I'm going to make the strength a little bit higher, so maybe 25, so we can have a little bit more detail in it. So, now what we need to do is, we need to add a brick texture. So, Shift A, Search, then we're going to type a brick texture, <clears throat> right here. Then we're going to click connect the color into the height. Now basically give like the, you know, the brick layout. Once you're done with this, the next thing we need to do from here is we're gonna hit Control T. But let me show you guys something before we hit that. You need to go to Edit, and then go to Preferences, and Add-ons. So from here, Add-ons, if you guys don't have the Node Wrangler, um, let me type it up, we need to enable it. This is, uh, yeah, the Node, the Node Wrangler right here. This would allow you to do what I'm gonna show you right here. So. From here, with the no ring where this fee allows you to do is it will, um, it will allow you to add a mapping. So we're going to hit control, control T and that basically added a mapping and a texture coordinate. So we're going to set the, um, wait, my bad. We're going to, we're going to move the UV into the vector. Then we're going to go to scale here. Then we're going to put this something like 12. Cause we need like a lot of bricks so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to uh uv editing then from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna one arm number pack go to this view then uh we're just gonna hit u and that's gonna uv project from view so basically we'll get it from this angle knowing like you know what perspective we're trying to look at it from then that would just allow the bricks to be like this you see it's like from the same perspective you're looking at so if you guys want to, you guys can increase this a little bit to make it more a little bit more bricks. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it with this part of it. 
we done with the pyramid you guys could see how it looks in cycles so yeah this is how it looks in cycles but now what we need to do is we need to make our our sand okay once you're done with the pyramid what we're gonna do is we're gonna get h to wait we need to go back to uh, to how object mode we're gonna get h to hide the cube then we're gonna start focusing on the the sand so we're gonna hit shift a we're gonna go to mesh plane we're gonna s we're gonna scale this plane out to something like about here then we're gonna then we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit g then v we're gonna grab that downwards to about there then we're going to hit Alt A because we want to put the location here for now. So once we're done with this, we can put a tab to go to edit mode and we need to subdivide this. So we're going to hit, uh, we're going to right click. So right click, then subdivide. Go down here to subdivide. We're going to hit, we're going to add the number of cuts to something crazy like 150. So we have all of this because, you know, this is going to be really big. So we can go down here to modifiers. Then we're going to add a modifier. We're going to go to this place. We're going to hit nuke. We're going to go over here. Then we're going to go down. First, we need to, yeah, we need to set changes from image to movie. We're going to throw this to, uh, yeah, this one. So we're going to add the amount. So one, 100, 100, uh, I mean, 1,000, 100. Then we're going to go to uh, contrast. And we're going to bring this really low. So let me show you guys what we're doing. So basically this is this will be an art. So we were in tab mode, so we put back here. So we gonna we're gonna go to uh, contrast, right? And we're gonna set this all the way down to 70. He said this is 70. Yeah. So this is basically it. We just need to swift shade this. And then we're gonna add a subdivision surface modifier. So we're gonna go to modifiers and we're gonna apply this modifier. So we're gonna apply. And then we're gonna add a add a modifier. We can go to subdivision surface modifier. We're gonna add this modifier, make this uh the levels the same, same as this one. And we're gonna we're gonna apply this as well. So we're done with the ground. It was really simple, easy. So let me bring this up a little bit. Then we can add we can add the location back how it was. So we're gonna alt A. We're gonna go to the location. So basically where it was. From here is we need to add a a texture so we can go to shading and we can bring our pyramid back so right here you see cone we can click the eye and now we'll just bring it back we can scale this out which because and here's we're going to add add a material the reason why we need this here is because we need to we need to like kind of look at the color and make the sound like somewhat similar to it so more like like this i think this is a good color so you guys who look at the heads by you you can just type this value and that will give you the exact color. Um, yeah, and from here, what we need to do is we're gonna we're gonna that you need you guys could download these again. It's um the link is gonna be in the description down below for these two bump maps, the bump and the roughness. So we're gonna drag the the normal and the roughness over here. Then we're gonna uh connect the roughness into the roughness. Then we're gonna connect the normal, but again, shift A, normal. We're gonna connect the color to the color, shift A. We're gonna add a bump. Then we're gonna add this to this, this, and to this. But again, we can go down here. We're gonna set this to non colored. Then we're gonna go back up here, and the same thing with here. We're gonna set this to non-color. And now we can see how it looks. So this is pretty good. So now we need to set our scene up. So we're gonna select one of these pyramids, Shift D. Duplicate it, move it on like over here. We're gonna S, we're gonna scale this upwards. D, grab it in the back, like here. D, duplicate it on this axis. 
collect both of these select both of these pyramids then we're gonna move it up then s scale it out then g up then we can manually move these on this side Again, control alt number pad zero to snap the camera to view. So, in we're gonna go to crop uh, the camera properties. So, go to view and click lock camera to view. And that will basically allow us to move, rotate, and pan throughout the view. So, right here, we need to move this. And that's basically it. We have uh, our pyramids and our sand. You can, you can scale this out, try to move it. And we need something in the back, so in the background. We can find something like maybe, let me see. Or we could kind of just shoot this and just have this in the background. We just kind of make this infinite. Then we could add some, you know, some uh, something for the back, so. This like that. Shit, do this. Move it in the background. See. When it's in the background. See. Background. Kind of just play with the scale. Let's move it up. It's kind of, it's really basic, you know, just moving this around and playing with the scale. So, we have this. We have our pyramids and everything. Now we just need to do, uh, deal with the lighting. So, this actually, this lighting is actually not that bad but it's not really it's not really that realistic but yeah we can we can just shift and move this over like that and let me see what else we can do and we need to add like a sky texture or something so we're gonna go to world then you can uh, hit sky texture but it's gonna be too bright of course so we either Set the string to something point one. Even that's a little too bright. Okay, if you guys enjoyed that tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe. And um leave some comments down below on other video ideas you guys want us to make. And um tell me what other what things that you guys want to see from this tutorial itself. Like if you guys want to meet want me to make like a little animation where it pans into the pyramids or like you know some mist or something like that. Leave it in the comments down below and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.